Hi, I'm Dr. Suchitra. Uh, in this session, I'm going to talk to you about systemic lupus erythematosus. It is an autoimmune condition and it's a chronic one. There is a relapsing remitting course in most people, but it's not in everybody. So it waxes and wanes and they have flare up. But in some, it is continuously active, which is quite difficult to manage. In some, it is uh, clinically quiescent, but serologically active. So there are variable courses, but it's usually a remitting relapsing disease. Uh, there is a lot of inflammation happening. And SLE poses a particular challenge because of the various manifestations. It's a very heterogeneous disease. It can affect many organs and present very differently in many patients. There is a high female preponderance, especially in the reproductive age group. The female to male ratio is 12 to 1 in the reproductive age group. And even pre-pubertal and post-menopausal, it's still higher in females at 2 to 1, but not as much as in the reproductive age group. The prevalence is about 30 to 50 per 100,000 population. It depends on the geographical location, what the prevalence is as well. Uh, it's high depending on the ethnicity as well, high or low depending on the ethnicity. It, the population in Africa has a very low prevalence and in Australia, but it's higher in America and in the black population in UK and in Asians as well. The same population uh, was studied in Africa and in UK, uh, the same black population, but there was an increase in the incidence of SLE in UK population. That shows clearly that environmental factors play a role. What could be the environmental factors? They could, it could be smoking, it could be ultraviolet light, it could be Epstein-Barr virus and a lot more factors. But environmental factors do play an important role. So there should be a genetic susceptibility. But on top of that, there is an environmental stress that leads to autoimmunity. And this autoimmunity seems to involve the whole of the immune system, T cells, B cells and uh, the rest of the immune system as well. Uh, lately, uh, there has been a lot of interest in neutrophils. In my immunology session, I've talked about NET, neutrophil extracellular trap. Uh, I'll tell you about the NET. Autoantibodies seem to be detected even before lupus is diagnosed. So, you see patients who do not fulfill all the criteria, but they have some features of lupus or they are relatives of lupus and you find autoantibodies in them. This is called preclinical lupus. This is an interesting area of research mainly because they've tried drugs like hydroxychloroquine and prednisolone and they found that the duration from preclinical lupus to lupus seems to increase. But this did not happen with NSAIDs, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. Mm -hmm.